TURF, Australia's largest synthetic grass company, offers a premium range of synthetic grass products and accessories. A tough turf transformation gives you a low maintenance, long-term cost-effective lawn that can either be installed by yourself or by one of our Tough Turf certified installers. Tough Turf is suitable for most applications ranging from front and backyards, courtyards, patios, playgrounds, schools, commercial landscapes to high-level sporting fields. Take a few minutes to watch our instructional guide as we share with you our secrets of how best to install your Tough Turf for a professional finish. Step 1. Area Preparation Once you have established the area to be turfed, remove all vegetation and debris. Dig out the existing soil to a depth of approximately 100 millimetres from your surrounding finished height levels. Use a rake to level out the turf area before the crushed rock goes down. Now is a good time to mark out and install any garden edging if required. Here we have used our Tough Edge Aluminium Garden Edge System. Step 2. Laying the Subbase Using a road base from your local garden supply yard, spread 60 to 70 millimetres across the surface, making sure it is even and provides a slight fall away from any buildings or water drainage. This can be achieved with either a screed or a lawn leveller. Water the crushed rock and compact the road base with a vibrating plate. For smaller spaces and corners, stamp your feet to compact or use a tamper. For a more professional finish, we recommend a 20 millimetre covering with a 5 mil crusher dust over the crushed rock again from your local garden supply yard. Carefully level this area, water again lightly, and wait 10 minutes before compacting. Finally, run your lawn leveller over the area to iron out any small bumps created by the vibrating plate. By this stage, your base should be approximately 10 to 15 millimetres below your surrounding level, which will allow most turfs to stand slightly higher once installed, giving a natural, fresh mowed appearance. Step three, laying your grass. Lay out your tough turf pieces ensuring the grass fibres are all facing the same way. Allow your grass to relax for a couple of hours. This will remove any creases and help the grass to settle. Remove the salvage strip. As a guide you should cut off one stitch using a sharp utility knife. Place your grass into the desired position. In most cases you can butt the grass in sideways against the edge and cut both ends to the required length. To cut your grass, fold it back to expose the latex backing so it's in line with your finished edge. Put a mark in this spot with your knife and continue marking along the entire length. Now with a sharp utility knife, carefully cut between your markings. Alternatively, if you have a straight edge, you can run the blade of the knife through the grass feeling the straight edge underneath as you go. Make sure you regularly change your blade keeping it sharp. Step 4. Joining the grass. Joining your grass together will require Tough Turf's adhesive joining tape or glue. Glue is recommended for colder seasons. Pull the two pieces of grass together so that the latex backings are as close as possible but are not touching or overlapping. There should not be more than a 5mm gap between the two pieces of grass. Place a marker on the join lines at both ends, then fold back both sides of the grass evenly. Use Tough Turf's synthetic grass joining tape or in colder seasons, use our synthetic grass adhesive glue. To use the joining tape, roll out the tape and cut to size. Carefully peel off the foil along the entire length of the join. Then gently place both sides of the turf down on the adhesive tape from one end and carefully fold the grass over, making sure no grass fibres stick to the tape. When using the glue, roll out and position your fabric so that it's in the middle of both pieces. Secure one end with nails so the fabric doesn't move. Use a 3mm V-notched trowel. Pour a small amount of glue at the start of the tape. Use your trowel to spread the glue evenly in a light layer along the entire join. Add glue as required. Wait about 10 minutes, weather dependent, for the glue to become tacky before you fold your two pieces of grass down onto the glue. Using a Tough Turf synthetic grass joining roller, Run it along the seam, continuously, for a short period of time to ensure the join becomes invisible. Step 5. Securing the edges. Using Tough Turf spikes, nail the grass down as close to the edge as possible, with 300mm spacings. When nailing, make sure you pull the fibres of the grass apart, exposing the backing, so that the spike goes through smoothly and doesn't hold any fibres down. You should not be able to see the spikes once they are in. Step 6. Adding Sand Infill 
Sanding your grass is important to support the base of the fibres, preventing the grass from permanently lying flat. Before adding the sand infill, use a power broom or stiff bristle broom to brush the blades of grass upwards. This makes it easier to distribute the sand into the base of the grass. We recommend using approximately 10 to 15 kilograms of dried silica sand for each square metre of grass. A sand spreader or seed dropper will make the job easier and provide a more even spread. Your aim is to get the sand in between the blades of grass and not to get large volumes of sand in one spot as this will cause lumpy grass underfoot. If you don't have a sand spreader, you can use a shovel and flick the sand out as evenly as you can. Finally, using a power broom or stiff bristle broom, brush in the sand. This will ensure an even spread of sand and push it into the base of the grass, helping to keep the grass standing up, improving the long-term appearance and reducing unnecessary wear and tear. By taking time to follow these steps, you will have an impressive looking lush green lawn every day.